and welcome back to another lippy review. So today we're doing one from Blistex. Uh, this has the Lip Expressions Touch of Shine and Touch of Tint with mirrors on the caps for lips as, that look as good as they feel. So this is not lost on me. The way that these look, I am not sure if these are basically a reskin and re-release of two existing products. Me thinks they are, because that silver one, the Touch of Shine, what was that one that was in almost identical packaging from them that had the silk extracts in it? Wasn't it like silk expressions or something? Something along those lines. Oh, what does it say about Touch of Shine? Contains silk extract, special moisturizers and vitamins B and E, and provides a light glossy shine. The other one, Touch of Tint, keep in mind the color, keep in mind the mirror on the cap. The other one, that I believe it's a reskin of, oh, we're going to lose a bunch out of this box, aren't we? We are. That's cool. I'll pick them up after, but I didn't mean to make a bunch of things fall. I was doing it one-handed and didn't think, but regardless, Lip Vibrance, same exact color of the tube. Also has that on the lid. Hmm. Touch of tint. Contains shea butter, grapeseed oil, and vitamin E. This one. Shea butter, grapeseed, and vitamin E. Hmm. Hmm. You know, curiouser and curiouser. I am so freaking certain that this is just like a re-release of these two to get people to buy them over again without realizing them they're buying them over again. But... For the sake of completion, and because otherwise I know I'll get people going, you never uh, reviewed these releases, fine. I'm going to review them for you guys. I absolutely am. Even though I am under the belief they are identical to what we've already had for years now. Just saying. Okay, we're putting these back up. Worn out till they're reviewed. And we'll see if we're playing Jenga here if everything falls down suddenly mid-video. But anyway, I'll try to not breathe on it. So today we're going to do the Touch of Shine one. I am so freaking certain that I know exactly what it's going to feel like. What it's going to smell like before I even go into it. Because I remember the original of this from years ago. Ah, goodness, goodness, goodness. I'm just amused. Like, I saw these online... I needed something to help pad out my order so I could get the free shipping from Target when I was buying something else. And this did fit the bill for that, but unfortunately, now that I have them in my hand, I'm like, wait a minute. I see what you did there, Blistex. I see you. They did add, however, a cute little holographic, whimsical, stardusty little thing on here. And a little star, if you can see that. That's new. I feel like the mirror on this is actually a little clearer and a little more magnified than the original was. But that's sad. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yep, got the same little like mica glitter in there. Don't know if that's gonna pick up on camera or not, but it does. Has the same fruity scent to it. <laughs> I'm so certain this is going to be identical. Even has little wavy twisties in the tube. <laughs> My goodness. I'm amused, I'm amused, I'm amused. But, and it also has that super fast gliding whoop 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 that the originals had. Blistex never change, never change. I guess we don't have to worry about them changing because apparently they're just going to re-release the same shit over and over again under new names. So oh, they literally aren't going to change. Price point on this was not very high, which is good because I would be really mad if I had paid like $6 or something for stuff that I already have under another name from them. Now, I think this pack was like three or four bucks, which that's all right. That's reasonable. That's fine. Um size on this is 0.13 ounces, so a little bit less than a standard stick, but that's kind of on par for Blistex. It's not limited edition, far as I know. Um, it's 
See, if this were for, like, a holiday pack and you're just trying to get shit out there, I would understand. But this was not even for that. <sighs> Goodness. It is synthetic, not organic. Not medicated, no SPF. I guess its special feature is those silk extracts, so let's see if I can feel those silk extracts in this, just like I could in the original, because I remember being kind of squicked out by it a little. It'll be my moment of truth. Taste fruity, I like that. Well, the one thing I'll say for it, I do not feel that same slightly gritty texture that I did with the original, where I was like, oh, is that the silk extracts? Did we literally just put, like, threads of spider web in here? What the hell is this? No, this actually does feel very creamy smooth. And I'm not getting any weird texturing from it. So, all right. There is a slight, 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 slight difference. But it is damn near identical, guys. Damn near identical. But this one, I would say if one is better, it's this one for having that better texturing. However, I do still feel chaps through it. It's not sticky, thankfully. And I am going to dock them a point down for just being dishonest in re-releasing a product that they've already sold for years just under a slightly new name and claiming it as a new product. But, you know, let's go ahead and do the drink test pocket. <laughs> Stays put, alright. Alright, I'll give credit where credit's due. I'll still give it an 8 out of 10, alright? I'm not throwing it under the bus saying it's a bad product. I'm just saying it's shady of Listex to have gone about it the way that they did. Um, but it is slightly, slightly, slightly improved from the original. Not by much. Not difference by much. And if you don't have them side by side, you probably wouldn't even notice that there is a difference. I only remember because I remember it was kind of noteworthy to me because it was the first time I ever saw silk extract listed as an ingredient on a lip product. So I was like hyper aware of if there was like any texture difference with that. And in that one I could feel it. I've had other lip products since then that contain that that I did not have that texture with. So I don't even know guys. It was just kind of weird. But this one's nice. I, I like this one. This one is good. So anyway. That is it for this one, guys. So, as usual, you know what to do. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be click subscribe, hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload. Leave comments down below. Make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, my eBay, my Reddit, everything and more. It's all down below. And if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link, as always, is down in the description. Anyway, guys, till next time, see ya.